Good evening everyone and uh, welcome to Game Reviews and War. Um, this is Bermar from uh, Norway. Not sure if you know me uh, from before, but anyways, I'm bringing you a game of Halo Reach. And uh, what you will see is uh, I'm actually playing split screen online with my good uh, roommate and friend uh, Sorky. Um, yeah. Uh, we're basically just uh, having f real much fun just playing around uh, in the multi-team lobbies um, split screen it's really fun but um, <laughs> I gotta put something on the table right at once and that is please guys don't expect too much of this video because <laughs> I mean me and Sorky are we're Halo noobs um, Halo no sorry um, Sorky haven't played that much on Xbox either, so you know the controller is all weird. He's used to playing a PC, and I don't know. I I've been the only Halo game I really played is Halo Reach, and I played I don't know, casually since the release. So we're not good, and <laughs> we are struggling very much with the callouts uh, because yeah, in big in multi team you need to call out, you know. Uh, dude, there's a guy on second floor, blah blah blah, but we just can't seem to <laughs> learn the call out places, so we're basically just, uh, uh, hey, Sorky, there's a guy uh, up on the roof, and he's all like, what roof, where, which roof, and <laughs> yeah, it's all chaotic, but it's really fun anyways. Um, yeah. I'm not going to talk about the gameplay so much actually uh, because I don't know I, that's not it'll, you can check out my channel and you'll see that I really really talk about the gameplay when I'm playing I like to just talk about whatever you know things that are going on games that I'm looking forward to and stuff and yeah that's actually what I want to talk to you guys uh, with today, and that's uh, Black Ops. Because, as I guess <laughs> every one of you knows, uh, Black Ops is coming out in three weeks or something. Um, and I'm gotta say, I I'm really looking forward because I'm just so excited to see what the game will be like. You know, will it be like uh, Modern Warfare or will it be more like I don't know. Call of Duty 4. Um, I'm just so excited because I, I'm pretty tired of uh, Modern Warfare 2 and actually um, Call of Duty 4 as well because um, I played some Call of Duty 4 now the past week but I gotta say everyone seems to be using the sniper because I don't know it's something about sniping in Call of Duty that is so much fun and Every game of team deathmatch or domination that I seem to get into uh, seems to be some kind of sniper lobby. So, ah, it's no fun, really. I'm not a p sniper person, so <laughs> that's not the lobby for me, I guess. Um, but what I'm really, maybe the most excited about uh, in terms of Black Ops is the camping situation that I think will be. I don't know, pretty heavy in the start, I guess, because as you may know, um, kill streaks in the game uh, don't count th towards your. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, kills with your um, kill streak rewards don't count up to uh, another kill streak. That means that you have to earn your kill streaks by killing with your gun or grenades or knife or whatever. But I think that that might. I don't know, make the people camp a lot? That could be wrong, and I guess nobody knows yet, but I think there might be a bit of camping in the start. Um, that pretty much goes for every FPS shooter um, that is out there uh, in the first week of the game or something, but uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. And another thing is the sniper class so to speak because I don't know if you guys have checked out the perks and uh, that is coming but um, they're having uh, a lot of the perks from Modern Warfare 2 including sleight of hand but the pro version in Black Ops uh, it's the same as in Modern Warfare 2 but 
the faster aim down sights um, perk doesn't work with snipers. So that basically means that, I don't know, it will get, get harder to, you know, do those sweet quick scopes and stuff. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really excited about how fast you actually scope in. Um, I guess it will be something like uh, Call of Duty 4 or something, but I'm not sure. And yeah, I'm also very excited about weapons. Uh, I wonder if they have made the weapons balanced, maybe, because as you know, in Modern Warfare 2, you're pretty much golden or better off with picking an assault rifle. Really, there's no real point of picking MP5 or uh, P90 or Mini Uzi. You're just better off with uh, assault rifles because they're so overpowered. I guess the only um, submachine gun that is worth um, using is uh, the what's it called UMP because that's pretty overpowered but I'm hoping that they're making um, like in Call of Duty 4 I really like that uh, pretty much you didn't have to use the assault rifles the MP5 in Call of Duty 4 was pretty sweet I gotta tell you as well as the AK uh, what's it called 74U uh, which I like to refer as the tiny version of uh, the AK-47. So I'm hoping of a more type of balance type of um, weaponry, <laughs> so to speak. And yeah, and the last thing I'm really looking forward to try out is the new uh, free-for-all types. Um, uh, you pro guys have probably watched um, the multiplier trailer or whatever it's called where they they showed uh, they showed the, the types of free-for-all games uh, there were some kind of games that let you um, there's for example take this one for example uh, you basically just start with the pistol and uh, knife and you only have one bullet in your pistol and if you manage to kill a guy you're awarded with another bullet and before the match you place your bet, you gamble uh, whether you're um, um, whether you're getting the top three uh, at the end of the game, and you know you can lose money or you can win money, regardless of uh, yeah how you're doing in the game, basically. Uh, and it's what's this progression type of gameplay where you cycle through uh, lots of the weapons in the game. There was. Um, you basically start out with a pistol or something and every time you get a kill you advance to the next level so let's say you start with a USP or something and then you get a maybe a submachine gun or a machine pistol or something and then you go I guess more and more powerful weapon and if you get killed you start at scratch I think I'm not sure don't quote me on that <laughs> but uh, yeah so that's pretty much my thoughts on the game um, uh, what else yeah um, guys I gotta tell you I'm kind of bored uh, these days waiting for black ops because all my friends on uh, Xbox live seems to be playing the different type of game that I'm uh, so I'm, whenever I'm playing Xbox live these days I basically play alone and that's pretty boring especially in Halo I mean I got Sorky to play split screen with which is great but when I'm playing like uh, COD 4 or uh, yeah maybe uh, Medal of Honor I'm basically on my own and if you guys want to play um, some of the games that I'm playing uh, please send me a message or something either on YouTube or maybe on Xbox Live and just um, Tell me you want to play because that would have been really fun. I I just got my new Turtle Beach X31, which Junkyard uh, reviewed at his channel for I don't know a week or two something. And yeah, I want to try out uh, Mike and uh, talking with some guys uh, at the same time when I'm playing uh, the game. So yeah, please just send me a message, message if you want to play. I'm currently playing Halo Reach, Medal of Honor, 
Uh, we can play Call of Duty 4 if you want, and maybe even Modern Warfare 2. I'm um, not too fond of, uh, fond of that game anymore, but uh, it's usually fun when you're playing the game with someone. Uh, it isn't that frustrating then, so... Yeah, but okay, I think the game is coming to the Etuin, and I see the purple team is uh, having a score of 49, so... Yeah, as you can see... We didn't to do too bad, I gotta say. Um, yeah, second place. That's not bad. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you like. And just, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.